Hi. All right, here I go again. I just finished 1 Samuel, uh, which covers um, uh, Samuel's calling, Saul, and then the end of Saul's life, Saul and David at odds, David and Jonathan. And then I'm getting into 2 Samuel, which is David's life as ruler. So, okay, just bear with me. I... Maybe I'm just having a, a time today. I don't know. So as I just read these scriptures, I keep thinking about who these people are. Um, I, again, I'm not doubting. I'm just wondering because Saul and David, uh, Solomon even, you know, I grew up, I feel very naive. I grew up in a Christian home. I went to Christian elementary school. I grew up in church. I went to a Christian high school. I went to a Christian college. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm that girl. I'm not a pastor's kid, a PK, but I'm that girl. Um, and I'm thankful for all of that. Um, however, at times, the Christian education system, you know, and I teach in Christian education now. I, I have my whole career, my 14 years of teaching. So, you know, unbeknownst to us as Christians, I believe things were hidden, especially from us, because uh, the Holy Spirit can give us the full truth. Now, I want to start off with this picture of uh, Saul, because this is what we grew, this is what I grew up with. Um, you know, in Sunday school, these are the pictures they showed us, or the flannel graph. Who remembers flannel graph? Love those things. That was the highlight of Sunday school. Um, this is what we were shown. Even nowadays, you know, I teach with a Christian curriculum that has pictures that are very similar to this. Um, the Bible times, you know, and I loved these pictures. My mom recently found a beautiful collection of Bible books that, um, we read as kids, and now she's reading them to my daughter, and the paintings are beautiful. Um, the depictions of Bible times are typical Bible time-y kind of pictures. However, then you have these mound buildings and the huge columns and things, so that's mixed in. Whatever. We won't go there. But anyways, this is what's depicted um, to our children. And I just wonder to myself, after all these depictions, let me go over here and try to get a bigger, and then as an adult, you know, so we have Saul in Wikipedia. I'm not going to read it because that doesn't matter really to me. I mean, these kinds of pictures, these, I don't know what year that is, 187, okay, 1800s, but really... my one picture go it's hard to search there it is so then we have this picture I don't know what year this is let's see oh there's the painter oh well, I don't want him I'm not really interested in Ernst um I don't know. And then we have these. And there's older pictures uh, where, wow, like Samuel is like a giant anointing David. But anyways, remember Saul was head and shoulders above all men. So, you know, could have been giant. Uh, there was a picture of Jonathan. I found that he was way taller than David. David was supposedly young. I don't know how old they were. But anyways, back to my point. <laughs> Um, who were these kings, and when did they live? I, I doubt the timeline is really what we've been taught from childhood on. Um, from what I've seen, these, these kingdoms were not as vast as the Bible. Ooh, I hate saying it says they are. I mean, okay, the Bible doesn't say they were vast. It says they were well known in the area. And that part of the world, even whatever part of the world that is, um, but 
we don't know. And so, other than growing up in Bible times, I'm sorry, in Bible, college, high school, elementary, Sunday school, does anyone really know anything historical about any of these people? And what were their real names? These are, in our Bible, English translations. Saul's name wasn't Saul. What was it? I have to look that up. Were these names other names in history that are switched or hidden from us or changed? I don't know. Um, it's just interesting because I guess I took for granted, oh, Saul and David and Solomon, yes, they are the pillars of the Israeli dynasty, and that's that's who, like, really made... Israel as a nation grow and thrive and really after Solomon I mean it was just disaster after disaster with paganism I mean you never find except the prophets here and there are people that are really worshiping the most high it's just odd um that's all I can say about it odd um, Saul was a psychopath, so that was interesting. I, I just, and then some people even say that David had bipolar, and I'm like, well, who knows about that? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just thinking out loud. So to go from thinking you know and that you've learned all, all your life <laughs> to... Whatever. Oh, don't worry about the screams in the background. My daughter's just dramatic. Um, to this and not knowing these real historical facts, I guess I should say. I don't know. It just It's interesting. If anyone has any other um, details about that, I'd love to hear it. Just comment. Um, you know, read through the Old Testament yourself and let's talk about it, you know. Um, I'm really enjoying the Psalms. I mean, David did, was a man after God's own heart. I believe that. Was he, he was a great king in the Bible, but um, who was he in history also? The Bible is a historical book. So let's get real history, the true history, uh, involved with the real Bible. You know what I'm saying? Let's get these pieces together. Because with everything missing, we have to, we do have to piece things together. So have a good Saturday. That's what's on my mind. I had to kind of work through the maze. I'm sorry, I'm not too eloquent or I'm not too detailed. Um, yeah, just tell me your thoughts. It's just really, uh, let's piece it together. Uh, one thought at a time, one idea, one scripture passage at a time. Let's see. So, all right, have a good Saturday.